Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'll be talking about how to overclock your memory on the X99 chipset. This will also work on the Z170 and Z270 chipset. But let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so first thing you want to do is go into the BIOS as always. I expect that if you're going to overclock your memory, that you know how to overclock your CPU and just the basic in the BIOS. But let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you will see here is that my CPU is overclocked to 4 GHz and I have XMP profile enabled. So we're running at 3000 MHz at 50, 70, 70, 35 and 2T. Okay, one thing you have to know that if you are going to overclock your memory, I would not recommend to go higher than 1.39 volt a daily used. If you just go into benchmark like TimeSpy, Cinebench, you can go up to 1.5 volts, but don't go higher than 1.420 or something without a dedicated air cooler for the RAM because they're getting really hot if you just ramp up the voltage. But the goal is they just to overclock a little bit. 200 megahertz up at a time to from 3000 megahertz to 3200 megahertz. When you go into the windows, test with Cinebench, Time Spy, just normal application to see if uh, it's stable. If it's stable, just go back to the BIOS and repeat. And when you found your max frequency, you can go into the DRAM timings and just try and lower them one by one to see if you get better performance. If you get better performance and stable, you just can't repeat that all the time. This is really simple. It will take some time, but it's simple. Okay. So first, we're just gonna set the volt to 1.39. That is max from 24 daily use again. And I know, I know you should only go 200 megahertz of a time, but I know my RAM could do 4400 at uh, CL15, 70, 70, almost a stock actually. Actually the stock timings, but with a 400 megahertz bump in the speed. So let's try and go into the bias. No windows, I mean. <laughs> Okay, so now that we are booted in Windows, we're gonna open CPU set to validate that we got the right megahertz. Let's see. Virtual memory. And yes, we do. 1700 megahertz is 3400 megahertz, and this CAS is 15, 17, 17, 35, and 1T, exactly as we did. So now let's open. CPU set and see if it's stable or not. First thing. Okay, so the CPU is stable, the same because at the lower voltage, but yeah. We got a scroll of 695, and you can see our way just messing around with some memory overclocking. Not the same as this, but I'm just busy all day. But yeah, this is really simple how to overclock your memory. Just 200 megahertz bomb, it's stable, repeat, go back to the BIOS one step at a time. That's all, it's really, really simple. So thanks for watching and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment and like the video. See you next time.